Hello, welcome back. We'll be looking at the data types. So when we go to the attribute table, we go to table options and we create, we add a new field. We're going to be seeing a lot of data type aside. You've chosen the name of uh, the field you want to create. Now, under the data types, you're going to see short integer, long integer, flow, double, text, and date. Now, when you select short integer, you're going to have precision, which you are going to uh, change or add. If you leave it as zero, it means you can have as many digits as possible. If you leave it at three, four, or five, as you can go to have digit. Uh, when you come to long integer, you have the same thing only precision. When you come to float, you have precision and scale, meaning this is the digit and this is the decimal place. So if you have five and three, that means this is five digit, three is my place. And when you come to double, same thing. You come to text, you will have length. And the length is the default is 50, meaning you're going to have 50 um, uh, alphabet or 50 length of words. Okay? 50 length of alphabet, sorry, not words. All right? So when you come to date, meaning you're going to put date. All right, so basically, these are the few data types that are available on this. So we're going to look at these data types and what you do like. I have this um, small message here, uh, data type, which has short integer. The storage range is between minus this to this. And then what are the application of numerical value without fractional uh, values within specific range coded values. Then on long integer between this and this. So we have numeric values as well without fractional values within a specified range. The float is approximately between this value to this value. We also have numeric values with fractional. This time around fractions are involved values within a specific range. Then when you come to double, it's between this to this. So it has numeric values with fractional values within specific range. So when you see pro, uh, precision is a total digit places and then scale is the number of um, decimal places. So if precision is three, then you can impute a value, for example, two, five, six, but cannot impute a value two, five, four, six, meaning you're going to put in a value in three digit places. And then it can't be more than these three digit places. So the scale has to be shorter than precision value. If scale is set to three, then you can impute a value, for example, 256.013, but cannot impute a value 256.1458 because it has more than three decimal places. So for text, better letter range can be fixed in the same way. So basically this is just the few uh, explanation I got for this and uh, I hope this helps so I will see you in the next video